Welcome back, legends. Today, we dive deep into two horticultural concepts often discussed in plant science circles, lollipopping and defoliation. These terms may appear frequently in online conversations, including those surrounding cannabis, but the scientific principles behind them apply to a wide range of legal crops such as tomatoes, peppers, basil, and many indoor-grown vegetables. This guide is strictly educational, created to explore plant biology, canopy structure, hormone distribution, airflow science, and the natural responses plants exhibit when leaves or branches are strategically removed in a legal horticultural setting. Everything here aligns with UK laws and YouTube guidelines because it avoids giving any method for cultivating controlled plants. Instead, we focus on plant behaviour scientific reasoning and environmental reactions. Before we jump in, remember, this channel is for viewers over 18 and our content is purely educational. We're not here to promote or encourage illegal activity. In the UK, cannabis cultivation remains illegal without a license. What we are doing is learning plant science and helping beginners avoid common mistakes. What is lollipopping? Lollipopping is a descriptive term referring to a pruning pattern where the lower portion of the plant is cleared and the upper part forms a fuller canopy. The name comes from the resemblance to a lollipop, a bare stem on the bottom and a rounded cluster of foliage at the top. Although often associated with cannabis discussions, this concept appears in many legal horticultural lessons because it clearly demonstrates how plants manage light exposure energy distribution, and airflow. Light is a critical factor in plant health. Leaves deep in the shade rarely perform effective photosynthesis. When a plant's lower leaves receive too little light, the plant still expends energy to maintain them. Removing this poorly performing lower growth reduces the plant's maintenance responsibilities and allows more resources to be directed upward where light exposure is strongest. In controlled, lawful, horticultural environments, this selective lower pruning helps students observe how plants prioritise growth toward their most productive areas. Another factor is airflow. Dense foliage near the base of a plant can trap moisture and create pockets of still, humid air. These conditions can encourage fungal or pest issues in many legal crops. By clearing the lower zone, horticulturalists demonstrate how airflow can circulate more freely, reducing humidity buildup and helping create a healthier plant environment. What is defoliation? Defoliation refers to selectively removing leaves from a plant, typically to improve light penetration and airflow within the canopy. This is commonly used in tomato cultivation, vineyards, herb production, bonsai management, and indoor farming. The goal is not to harm the plant, but to help students and growers understand how removing certain leaves changes the plant's internal structure and resource allocation. Leaves are essential to photosynthesis, but not all leaves perform equally. Leaves shaded by multiple layers of foliage produce less energy and may even become energy negative, meaning they consume more energy than they generate. In these cases, defoliation, when done in a legal, controlled, horticultural context, can demonstrate how a plant responds when low-value leaves are removed. Defoliation also teaches important lessons about plant hormones. Growth hormones such as auxins regulate how new shoots form and which branches dominate. When a leaf or shoot is removed, hormone pathways redistribute themselves often triggering new growth patterns. Observing these changes provides insight into how plants adapt to structural adjustments. Why these techniques are discussed? These techniques appear in horticultural education because they illustrate universal principles of plant behavior. Whether the plant is a tomato vine in a greenhouse or basil in a hydroponic system, the underlying biology is similar. The reason lollipopping and defoliation come up often is because they highlight concepts like Canopy management 
how the plant's top layer interacts with light. Light penetration, how lower leaves react when light is shaded. Airflow and microclimates, how leaf density affects humidity. Energy allocation, how plants prioritize productive areas. Hormonal distribution, how structural changes redirect growth signals. These principles help students understand how plants function beyond simple watering and feeding. They show how plants behave when challenged, how they adapt to environmental changes, and how they respond when parts of their structure are removed. The biological science behind these ideas. Photosynthesis is the engine of plant growth, and it depends heavily on light intensity and leaf positioning. When the canopy becomes too dense, Upper leaves absorb most of the usable light, causing lower leaves to work inefficiently. Studies in legal crops show that selective pruning can help illuminate hidden parts of the plant, leading to healthier and more balanced growth patterns. Airflow is another important environmental factor. When leaves overlap in tight clusters, they trap moisture released during transpiration. This raises humidity in the plant's microclimate and may increase the risk of fungal problems. Selective leaf removal demonstrates how improved airflow reduces moisture accumulation and allows the plant to breathe more effectively. Energy distribution also plays a notable role. Plants distribute nutrients, sugars and water to every part of their structure. Removing underperforming leaves allows the plant to redirect those resources to areas where they will have the greatest impact. Demonstrating this process in a legal horticultural classroom shows how plants naturally optimise themselves when environmental or structural changes occur. Why it matters in education. Teaching plant structure through these techniques helps students understand fundamental plant science concepts that extend far beyond any single crop type. Lollipopping illustrates light dynamics and airflow, while defoliation shows how plants deal with shading, respiration and structural adjustment. These tools help clarify how plants behave under different conditions without encouraging or guiding the cultivation of restricted plants. This document is strictly educational and not intended to promote or instruct the cultivation of cannabis or any other controlled plant in the UK. It does not provide step-by-step -step guidance, environmental requirements or actionable growing instructions. All content focuses solely on legal plant biology and horticultural theory in compliance with UK laws and YouTube policies. If you enjoyed this deep dive into land science, legends, make sure you keep learning and exploring the natural behaviours of plants in safe, legal environments. Understanding how plants adapt, prioritise energy and respond to structural changes is essential knowledge for anyone studying horticulture. Stay curious, stay learning and we'll see you in the next one. This video is proudly sponsored by Spider Farmer one of the leading names in grow lights and tents. If you're serious about healthy plants and bigger harvests, Spider Farmer has the gear you need. Check out their full range through the link in the description and don't forget to use our discount code BUDFELLAS at checkout for 8% off your order. Big thanks to Spider Farmer for supporting BUDFELLAS and plant education.